Hi guys, welcome to this channel. I am Timothy and today we will be covering on the turning effects of forces. You might have seen these three terms, turning effect of force, moment of force and torque. So what's the difference? They are all actually the same thing. In this video, I will be using the term moment of force. So what is moment of force? Say we have a seesaw here, Jill lands on this seesaw, causing the seesaw to move. The weight of Jill is the force that caused this seesaw to move, and we seek to calculate the turning effect on the seesaw. Mathematically, moment of force is given by force multiplied by the perpendicular distance between the line of force and the pivot. In the context of this seesaw, the force is the weight of Jill. Distance, as we can see, is given by the ruler. Take note that the ruler is perpendicular to the line of force, measuring perpendicularly from the line of force to the pivot. Another way to look at this perpendicular distance is just the shortest distance between the line of force and the pivot. So, let's take a look at this scenario. Big Jew and Small Jew lands on the seesaw and the seesaw is balanced. So, why is this so? This is because of the principle of moments, which states that when a body is in equilibrium, the sum of the anticlockwise moments is equal to the sum of the clockwise moments about the same pivot. Let's say Big Jew weighs 100 newtons and is 1 meter away from the pivot, and Small Jew weighs 50 newtons and is 2 meters away from the pivot. Anti-clockwise moment will be caused by big Jew and the clockwise moment will be caused by small Jew. So first, let's calculate the anti-clockwise moment caused by big Jew. We take big Jew's weight, which is 100 newtons, multiplied by his perpendicular distance from the pivot, which is 1 meter. What about small Jew? We take small Jew's weight, which is 50 newtons, multiplied by his perpendicular distance from the pivot, which is 2 meters. So as we can see from the above calculation, the anti-clockwise moment is numerically equal to the clockwise moment. Hence, this seesaw is in equilibrium. Just want to thank you guys for watching. So do remember to subscribe and stay tuned for more content coming your way.